Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some bookish things together, starting with going to Barnes and doing a little bit of book shopping. So let's go. Okay guys, we are back from Barnes and I have a mini haul. I didn't get very much, but I thought I would obviously show you what I ended up picking up. First with some new Funko Pops to go on my bookshelf and we'll put them in their rightful place together. But I got two more Harry Potter Funko Pops. I really need to get more that are just kind of seem more generic to put on my romance side. And I really wanna get one of Goku to put with my Dragon Ball manga. I found this one on Amazon that's Goku on Nimbus and I really, really want that one. So I need to order it because I haven't been able to find Find it in store but I found this one of Hermione and she's holding a cat like how stinking cute is that I'm obsessed I love cats if you don't know I have a cat her name is pumpkin and I just love cats and this is so freaking cute I love how she's in like regular clothes and not in her uniform and then I found this one of Ron I actually saw this like a week or two ago and I didn't end up getting it so I ended up getting it this time and it is this one of Ron in his little outfit holding what is that like a, I don't remember what is it the fact that I don't remember but I know exactly what scene this is from I'm literally blanking but I'm so obsessed it's so cute these are going to look so good on my bookshelf of course they're gonna be next to each other and then I got three new books the first one I got is fake flame by Adele Buck I've never heard of this never seen anyone talking about it but if you know me you know I love a good fake dating romance and this just kind of sounded really fun and not like anything I've read in the fake dating area at least this book is between our two main characters Ava and Sean. Ava is a literature professor and Sean is a firefighter and I don't know why but the fact that he was a firefighter really notched the points of me wanting to read this book up so picked that up yeah. very excited to read it. Yeah. Then the other new book to me that I personally picked up is wow. Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan I think is how you say her last name. I've just been seeing literally everyone and their mom recently picking this up reading it and loving it. It's a very new release I think it came out within the last couple of weeks that could be wrong but I know it did come out this summer and I've just seen so many people read it and love it so I decided to pick it up while I was there and then the last book I picked up is actually not for me I picked up The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa if you're not new here you know this is one of my favorite romance books I've ever read The Worst Best Man is the first one technically in this interconnected standalone series but I actually picked this up because I got a DM from someone saying that their best friend loves my videos and their birthday was coming up so they wanted to know if I would like sign a book and send it to her or write her a note so I ended up picking this one because I'm almost positive she probably hasn't read it because it's not super super popular and I'm gonna write a little note stick it in and mail it to the best friend so she can give it to the friend I don't know but I thought that was just really sweet that the best friend reached out to me so why not do it so that's why I picked up this one so that's all I got at Barnes the other day when we went but going to Barnes is just so fun it's such a vibe every single time and I just love being in the environment ignore my son talking he literally will not stop anyways so that's the haul now we are gonna get into a little bit of some reading time this is coming from future Tiffany so I'm gonna be in a different outfit and then when you come back I'm gonna be back in this so just know so it makes sense in your brain anyways we're gonna read so let's get into that I'll see you reading right now okay bye
Okay, before we get further into today's video, I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Ana Luisa. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you are not new here, then you know I love jewelry. I'm constantly layering tons of necklaces, earrings, bracelets, rings, all the whole thing. Okay, I love jewelry. So I'm very excited to be working with Ana Luisa, not for the first time, but for the second. I'm very excited to tell you guys that I am actually now a part of their VIP program. I'm so excited. Genuinely, since the first time I worked with Ana Luisa, I have worn the jewelry they sent me every single day. And that's not even an exaggeration. It's not a lie. I genuinely have. The jewelry I have received from Ana Luisa has literally been the best quality jewelry that I own, aside from my engagement ring. I can feel 100% confident if I accidentally forget to take my jewelry off before I get in the pool or in the shower that it's not going to tarnish and ruin. And I'm just so in love with every single piece of jewelry that I have gotten from Ana Luisa and literally everything on their website I'm actually obsessed with. And eventually I will be just getting more and more and more from them because it's literally my favorite jewelry. I honestly don't think I will be purchasing jewelry from anywhere else from this point on because that's how in love with it I am. This time I ended up getting these two necklaces that are layering necklaces. Again, if you know me, you know I love layering necklaces. So I'm so excited to add these two to my rotation and to my necklace stack. And then I also have gotten a new pair of earrings from them, which is this first pair you see. You'll be seeing a close up of them, but they're like an oval shaped little hoop and they're so freaking cute. And again, the quality is amazing. Ana Luisa, for the quality of jewelry that they are, is so affordable and I cannot explain how much I love them and how much their jewelry has just changed my jewelry game. It has upped my jewelry game so much and I could not be more thankful. When you get your package from Ana Luisa, it comes in this cute little orange box and inside you will be getting your jewelry pieces and they come in these very, very handy little cases. These are great if you're someone who doesn't already have some kind of jewelry storage system to keep them clean and taken care of, not getting scratched, whatever, just keeping them in good condition. These are perfect because you can just put them back in these cases. And I love them because they are actually magnetic. So they very easily open and close. They're so cute. They come in all different colors. I think I also have a blue and a gray one from my previous order from them, but I'm obsessed. I just love everything about Ana Luisa, what they stand for, what their jewelry is, the quality of it. It's amazing. Every Everything about it. I love them so, so much. So with that being said, click the link down below in my description box to shop Ana Luisa. You will not regret it. I promise you won't. So shop Ana Luisa and back on to the rest of the video. Okay, I thought it was the perfect time to sit down and give you guys a little reading update. So as you saw yesterday, I finally took the time to start the first in the Dragon Ball manga in the Dragon Ball series. If you know from previous videos, my husband has watched this anime for years and years and years. Like he watched this when he was younger and he really wanted me to watch it with him. But for the longest time, I was like, no, I'm not gonna like it. For the longest time, I honestly thought I wouldn't like anime in general. And then we kind of started off slow when I started to like anime, I want to say in like 2021, end of 2020. And the more we watched, the more I just fell in love with it. And then within this last year in 2023, we decided to tackle Dragon Ball, which if you don't know, there's Dragon Ball, which is the first set of the series. Then you have Dragon Ball Z and then Dragon Ball Super. They were all very long, Dragon Ball Z being the longest of the three. It's a very long universe to get through and there's still more coming. There's canon movies, there's non-canon canon movies. There's GT, which is another series that's not canon. It is a huge universe. There is so much content that you can take in for this universe, which is something that I love about it. And obviously the manga came first before the show. So I have slowly but surely been collecting them. They have now made, I don't know how long these have been out and been selling, but they're basically bigger versions that hold three volumes rather than all the tiny ones. So anytime I see one of these that I don't have, I've been picking it up. So I own all 
all of the original Dragon Ball and I now own the first two in Z. I don't remember how many there is in Z with the of the ones that hold three volumes. There's five of these big volumes that hold three volumes, if that makes sense. So I finally started the first one and I ended up getting to page 46, which took like no time because it's obviously manga. It's, I mean, you know, there's not very many words on the page, but I just found myself giggling and just smiling and laughing because I love these characters so much and I love taking in what I watched, but in the book, like just reading the manga and like looking at the pictures and I'm having such a great time reading this. Obviously I already know everything that happens, but I'm having so much fun and it's just a pretty like mindless fun read for me. Cause again, I know everything that happens. It's not something that takes a lot of time or effort for me to read, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And I definitely want to have some time today to sit and just read a little bit more. I first see myself reading this whole thing very, very quickly. I just love it so much. And then aside from that, I'm also currently doing a reread of Heavy as the Crown by Lindsay J. Now this is not going to be included in this video. I'm actually filming an entire separate reading vlog of me doing a reread of this one and reading the second one. Cause if you are not new, no, if you are, yeah, if you're not new here, then you know. This was one of my favorite books I read last year. So I'm doing a very, very heavily annotated reread of the first one. And then I'm going to read the new one. And I'm so excited. Ugh, I'm just loving being back in this universe and being with these characters. But that's all I'm going to say for now. Because again, I'm filming a whole different video for this. But I thought I would show you. Okay, I thought we'd have a little bit of chatting time before we get into some more reading and into working on my book journal. I thought we would get into talking a little bit about bookish merch okay because I have gotten some new pieces and some new little things recently that I'm literally obsessed and in love with and I just feel like I need to show it so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys it, this is not gonna take much explanation for most of you okay but I did in fact get the bookmarked crew neck I wanted to get this at the first drop and then it sold out and I was like dang <laughs> and then the second drop came I set an alarm I got on the website the second it like before it even went live tried to get a 2xl sold out by the time I put in my information the only size that was left was a 3XL and I got it. Now listen, this is obviously very big on me. 2XLs are obviously already big on me, but I do love very, very oversized crew necks and hoodies. And I kind of love how big this is. This is going to be the coziest thing come fall and winter to just sit and read in with a pumpkin spice latte. I'm so excited. And it's just so cute in person. I'm literally obsessed with it. And then other than that, I got this really cute hoodie from Books with Jess Bookshop on Instagram. I'll have the name on the screen or screenshot or something. She sent me this hoodie and some stickers and I'm obsessed with it and I just felt like I needed to show you guys. This is actually dirty because I've been living in this since I got it. Same with the bookmark thing. I've kind of been going back and forth but I need to clean them both. But it looks like this. It says book club. Cheers to chapters. I ended up picking to get the gray color but in a hoodie instead of a crew neck because I'm more of a hoodie person personally and I did end up getting this in a I believe a 2XL. <laughs> you know there's not a tag on it but I'm 99% sure I got a 2XL. Again I literally just love oversized but like like, this is such good quality. It's so soft. It's so comfortable. I am genuinely so impressed and in love with the quality of this and it's just so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I actually read in this yesterday. So you saw me reading in it, but I'm obsessed with it. And then she also sent me a bunch of stickers. Look how cute my Kindle is. My Kindle has actually never been this cute. I'm so obsessed. Okay. I got this pop socket actually at Hobby Lobby. It came in a two pack for $3, which is such a sleigh, but I'm so obsessed with the stickers. Like the the Taylor Swift ones, the Gilmore Girls ones. I love this sword with the bow because I love medieval fantasies. So that just hits my soul a lot. And just like the small town romance and everything. Like I'm just obsessed. She also, the sweetheart she is. So I had ended up ordering a bookmark. Okay. After she like had already messaged me and was going to send me some stuff. I saw that she posted that a bookmark was back in stock and I needed to get it, which I actually don't have it. So let me grab. <laughs> she had posted that this bookmark was back in stock. And if you don't know who this is, this is Miss Amelia Munet Thermopolis. <laughs> Thermopolis Rinaldi, the princess. No, just kidding. The queen of Genovia. Okay, this is actually, wow, I'm struggling right now. This is actually my favorite movie ever. Obviously, there's a lot of movies that I love that are favorites, but out of every movie that I have ever watched, this is my favorite movie ever. So the second I saw this, had to buy it. So I ended up ordering this. And then like the sweetheart that this girl is, she just threw in the Taylor Swift one. I did not pay for this. She did not tell me she was gonna send me a bookmark. Like she just threw this in and bless her 
soul. It's so cute. It's the bookmark I'm actually using right now in my Dragon Ball manga, but it's so cute. And she's just such a sweetheart for that. I just cannot like, she's so sweet. I am genuinely going to be ordering so many more stickers, bookmarks, you know, bookish clothing items from her because I'm just in love. Like she makes such cute stuff and the quality is great. So I'm obsessed. So I just wanted to share all that with you real quick because I'm obsessed and I feel like this is kind of the first time I'm really like investing in starting to get like bookish merch and I can see why everyone gets obsessed with it and can't stop because I will not be able to stop. <laughs> I'm obsessed. But anyways, we are actually going to start working on my book journal. Those of you who don't know, I have my book journal on my iPad and I have not updated it in a very long time. I have actually not updated it since my reading slump that was two and a half months long. So I have a lot to update, a lot to do in that. So I want to get some work done in that. I don't think I'll be able to finish it. We are actually going to dinner tonight at Makai's parents' house. So I don't think I'm going to be able to finish everything I need to before, but I'm really looking forward to getting some work done in that. So I think that's what we're going to do next. I do really want to get a actual like book journal. That's like a physical paper journal that I'm kind of like scrapbooking ish. Like I just see people do that. Like, especially Rachel Catherine. I just love her book journal and it looks so cute. And I really want to do that, but I'm not going to be starting one like that just yet. I think I might honestly wait until 2025 because I have already started this one on my iPad and I know I could start an actual physical paper one right now, but something in my brain would not like doing that in the middle of a year because that's just how I am. So anyways, that's the update. I just yapped at you. I hope you guys are enjoying how much I'm chatting with you in this video. Like I feel like I am really chatting your little ears off, but I hope you're loving it. Um, let's get some work done in my book journal. Let's go. You want to go with me? Yeah. You want to go with me? Let's go. Okay guys, it is time for one last reading update for this video. I have officially finished the first volume. Again, as a reminder, this has three volumes in it. So no, I did not read this entire thing yet. I have read the first volume, which was 180 pages. Volume two is Wish Upon a Dragon. If you are a Dragon Ball fan, you've seen the anime or anything. I just ended where we basically meet the Ox King, like that's where volume one ends. So I'm just thoroughly enjoying this. I will say, however, I did and will always love watching the anime more. I think there's just something so special in my personal opinion and just in my heart of watching the anime and hearing the voices and seeing them in color. Just like, I just fell so in love love with this show when we watched it that like no other show okay to put this in perspective no other show has ever hit the level of Gilmore Girls in my mind Gilmore Girls is literally my favorite show on the face of the earth I watch it every single day I listen to it when I go to bed because I'm scared of the dark don't shoot me I am scared of the dark so I listen to it every night when I go to sleep it's such a comforting show for me and I just love it so much and I always have and no other show has given me that amount of love before until I watched the Dragon Ball 
Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super universe in general. So although I didn't love this as much as the show, I still loved it so much. I think I would probably just give it a four star. Again, because I do love the show more, I didn't enjoy this on the same level as the show, but I still love it and I think it's so fun and amazing and it's really fun to relive it in a slightly different way because some of the names in this are slightly different because it's like the actual Japanese name and not what we call it in America and I guess in the anime it's also different for the dubbed version. If, if, if this is not making sense to you I'm so sorry. So yeah I feel like I just said a whole lot of nothing but that's the reading update. I am very excited to continue reading this, finish this one, and just keep reading the rest of them. Like I said I have all five of the Dragon Ball mangas which again hold three volumes and then I have the first two in Z and I'm just gonna continue collecting them when I find the next one I will grab it. So that's the reading update and I guess that is all for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already because we have a lot of fun over here and we want you to join the fun and also don't forget to click that link down below and shop Ana Luisa and with that being said I love you guys so so much and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I'm sweating so why am I whoa so why am I in a hoodie? Don't know because I want to be. I don't have any other answer for you. That's the answer. Sorry. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Bye. Not a spoiler or anything for those of you who do not know what Harry Potter stuff. It's between a she's a oh my god summer romance by annabelle whoa oh my god i just lost my train of thought i don't know so what did i just say where did that come from whoa what did i say okay i need to start over blue and a gray run whoa and i have now owned whoa